Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to make a quick video about something that's, um, some of you know if you're following me on Facebook. Um, just recently, someone that I already made a video about. Um, I mean, I personally don't feel like she's copying me to the T, but it really upsets me that I feel like someone's copying me. And, like, for me, and I, I even learned this myself. And so, it's something I want to share to help people if they're struggling with this. Is, YouTube is a great way to promote your channel, to even make some income. But one of the problems I'm having with is when you do something specifically just for money, just for fast cash. And it's like, I've tried every way possible that I could think of to make some extra money because right now I don't have a job. Um, I've tried to get a job for some time, but um, it just bothers me when I see a lot of people, they go to certain extremes just to make money they don't do it because they love it i feel like if you're gonna do something long term you should love it you shouldn't just pick up something as this is a tool i can use to make fast cash um because that's not how it works here and something that i came across a video a lady she was describing you know if you want to be a healer or whatever um she she doesn't do what she does because it's fast cash she does it because it's her heart desire to do it she could care less about the money and that's one thing that i have learned personally here is when you're trying to explore the world and when you're trying to explore things that aren't working for you, you know, you shouldn't just do tarot cards just so you can get the money. And that's what I personally feel like with this one person. I'm not going to name, but they're just doing everything they can to make the extra dollar. And it's like, I'm not here to put down people or degrade people or attack people. And I went to this woman and told her, you know, I just want the truth. And, you know, I've done everything I can to express my concerns, my irritations. And I feel like that's the right thing to do. If you have a problem with someone, you should go to them. You should talk to them, express what's really going on. And it's, it's, some things need to be addressed. And I just want to address that, you know, if you're running to the dollar, if you're running to make that extra money, it's a lost cause. It's not really going to benefit you in the long term. Yeah, it could help pay your bills. It could help you get the things you want. But is it really going to bring you happiness? And I feel like if you want a successful life where you can actually make a profit, it should be something you love, not something you're just using or panning off of someone else just so you can earn that extra dollar. And to me, the story of my tarot journey, it didn't just happen because I wanted to make extra money. I mean, my intent was, yeah, I could build this as a business, but to literally just use it as a money resource, it shouldn't be that. It should be because you're doing this because you love people. You should do this because you want to help people find the answers. And currently right now, you know, I've come to the point where I don't want to use something or if I feel like it's a gift in some way to give to others, I don't want anything in return. And, you know, I feel like I have been trying for three good years 
to find every possible avenue I can to make an income. I even try to actually get a little job, literally get a job, but it just seems like I keep hitting these dead ends, and it's like at the point where I just feel weak, weak, stressing over things that I have no control over. And I just feel like, and you know, if you want to do tarot card readings, do tarot card readings. But if you're really doing it just so you can make quote unquote money to save your ass, you know, I, I just think it's horrible. It doesn't look good. And to me, because I thought if I could do something I love, because like I was saying, my tarot journey started like two or three years ago. I would watch tarot cards like Netflix. You know, I loved it. I loved how the cards explain my situations. I love how, you know, the cards actually helped me. But also, too, you know, you don't need tarot cards to find answers in your life. You don't. You have God, you have source within you to find those answers. Um, that's if you believe in God or whatever. And I just feel like it's an injustice as you as a human to use something to benefit you so you can make an extra dollar, so you can have a big name, so you can have a big fan base. And for me, it's like I never wanted to start doing tarot cards just so I can get extra money and yeah in some instance I did want to make some profit off it but that wasn't the whole purpose the whole purpose was not to do that anyways I I don't want to sound like I'm putting down someone or putting down people for doing what they're doing I mean it's their life and their way to do things but me personally my experience especially tar tarot cards is the fact that you can't just do tarot cards just for money it has to be something long term that you really want to invest and you really want to do um and like i've come to terms with i don't have a problem people watching me just so they can be inspired but i do have a problem someone's just watching me and just trying to take notes exactly every detail of what I'm doing and try to do the same for themselves so they can save their ass. It's like, it's stupid. It's like, because it's like, I am gentle, I am nice, I am sweet to people, but also too, there comes a point where you have to draw the line. You have to say what is okay and what is not okay to accept into your life. And I just feel like, you as a human nature, you as human being, is doing an injustice just by taking people's ideas and using it for your own. And I come to terms with you, you know, yeah, it's an upsetting thing to know that people are trying to take your ideas. Um, but also too, and I forgot to mention, I think I mentioned it in my other video about tarot cards, but you know, for the longest time, like two years I've wanted to do tarot cards not just to do it but you know I did want to make some income after, off of it but ultimately I feel like it was more you know when people were struggling and I tried to help them answer questions that was more beneficial to me than actually the income part and I got nothing from it you know some people can make that fast cash other people it takes longer and that's probably one of my struggles here recently that i want to express is it just seems like other people have it a lot easier and I, i'm not trying to put people down it's like sometimes they have charisma and i don't but i just feel like it's odd that i could try to mirror the same person and do the same thing like for example um, I had the Webzy Wongi shop and I got nothing from it. You know, it's not like I'm just giving up on it totally. It's just not for me. Um, you know, I tried different avenues to make an income. 
but it's just hard to see and I'm not trying to compare people but in some way I am but it's hard to know that I can do the same thing they do but yet I get no results they can do the same thing as me and get twice as much results that they want and it's like I don't know what I'm doing and it's like I don't know if I need a change in what I do because I feel like honestly how I am I want to do things that not only benefit people but actually help people as a collective as a whole I don't want to be just self-centered about me and the cash and you know I'm trying to get everybody cash credit cards you know I'm not trying to do that but I just feel like when I see other people try to do it it just makes it easier that they can make that fast cash but I can't um, and I've come to terms with people are going to use you abuse you um, try to take advantage of you but it's like you have to speak up about it you have to speak up about the injustice that's being done to you and I feel like what this person has done is really, you know, we're mirroring each other. I get it. You know, we have the same ideas. We have um, trying to create something on our channels. But I just feel like if you're trying to take someone's idea just for your own gain, it just looks shady to me. It looks like you're trying to take their energy, their vibrations, and use it as your own. But I just feel like if you're going to do anything or come across something that is really generally something, a great idea, a great open eyes that you want to do, you should do it in your own way. You shouldn't just feed off of people just so you can take their ideas. Because it's easy. I've been there. I've tried to look up ideas of what I could do. But at the end of the day, I want to do things the way I want to do. I don't want to come across as I'm taking someone's idea and if I've done that I'm really sorry but it's like I don't want to do that and it's like I see people do that to people and it just ruins them as a person their self-esteem like everything they work for and like for almost three years I have tried to work and try to create something and I may have not got a job but it's like I almost have you know work this system you know trying to create something out of my life but yet it just seems so easier for other people to create you know and it's like what am i doing wrong here